Investment advisory services are offered through Foundations Investment Advisors, LLC, an SEC registered investment advisor. This is intended for informational and educational purposes only. The views, statements, and opinions expressed herein are those of the individual speakers and not necessarily those of Foundations and its affiliates. The information contained herein does not constitute an offer to sell any securities or represent an express or implied opinion or endorsement of any specific opportunity, offering, or issuer. Any discussion of performance or returns is not indicative of future results. Any mentions of rates and guarantees provided by insurance products and annuities are subject to the financial strength of the issuing company, not guaranteed by any bank or the FDIC. Each individual investor situation is different, and any ideas provided may not be appropriate for your particular circumstances. Foundations only transacts business in states where it is properly registered, or is excluded or exempted from registration requirements. Registration as an investment advisor is not an endorsement of the firm by securities regulators and does not mean that the advisor has achieved a specific level of skill or ability. A Roth conversion may not be suitable for your situation. The primary goal in converting retirement assets into a Roth IRA is to reduce the future tax liability on the distributions you take in retirement or on the distributions of your beneficiaries. The information provided is to help you determine whether or not a Roth IRA conversion may be appropriate for your particular circumstances. Please review your retirement savings, tax, and legacy planning strategies with your legal or tax advisor to be sure a Roth IRA conversion fits into your planning strategies. No legal or tax advice is provided. Always consult with a tax professional. All rights reserved. On today's show, we have strategies, lessons, and words of wisdom from the game of football to apply to your financial plan so you can retire like a champion. We kick it off right now. And now, how to retire with Fuchs Financial. The main thing for the majority of the listeners out there who are approaching retirement is I don't want to be surprised. Helping you build, preserve, and manage your wealth. You got Roth IRAs, you got individual accounts, and finding the right taxable strategy, that's that's gonna be huge for you. Welcome in to How to Retire with Ben Fuchs. Hi there, I'm Gary Nolan. Welcome to the show. And if you like football, you're gonna love today's show. We're gonna be talking about the big game, the big game of retirement, that is. With me is Ben Fuchs. Ben is with Fuchs Financial and has over 20 years experience in the retirement planning business. And Ben is a certified financial planner, certified private wealth advisor, professional, and fiduciary with over 20 years experience in the business. Of course, he is with Fuchs Financial. Ben, how you doing today? Doing all right, Gary. How are you, my friend? All right. You like football, right? You're a big football fan? I do. Unfortunately, my team did not make it. And <laughs> not only that, but I've been getting some flack from clients who are amazed that I am living in New England and yet still a Titans fan. Oh, OK. Well, no, but you used to live there. That's OK. See, yeah. thank you. I'm yeah. glad you appreciate me, Gary. Yeah, I, I mean, I, yeah, I grew up in New York and was a Giant fan for a very long time. But then when I moved to Kansas City, uh, spent nine years in Kansas City, became a Chiefs fan. So I'm doing pretty good with that team. That's for sure, though. All right. And look, my, that, that, that's the team my wife is rooting for, for you know obvious reasons. She's a big fan of football and no, she just likes Taylor Swift. But of course, what yeah, can we yeah. do? <laughs> and Travis Kelsey. All right. So here we go. The big game of retirement and how you can retire like a champion, as Ben just mentioned. While football season's coming, well, it's getting to a close now. We can celebrate the season, share a few tips, help you find your footing on the financial planning football field. All right. So here we are. You're on the field. And we talked a lot about the financial risk. Red zone. I'm going to break it down a bit for the uh, casual football fan. What do we mean by retirement red zone, Ben? All right. So once you've hit the financial red zone, you're within, say, five to 10 years of retirement. So these are the years in which financial decisions are critical, but one misstep can be costly. So this is an important point, and I think a point of reference for me. A lot of clients will say, hey, you know, I've got a 25-year-old who's done a really good job saving. I've got a 30-year-old. I've got a 35-year-old. Wonderful. And I'll say, that's great. I'm happy to meet with them and figure out what I can do to put them in the right direction, but I don't want to manage their money. And they'll say, why? That's a great question. Thank you for asking. <laughs> I was going to, yeah. All right, you know, Gary, I'm, I'm trying to stay one step ahead of you. That's my best. <laughs> I, I love that. <laughs> okay. So, you know, from my perspective, in a lot of scenarios, it doesn't make sense to manage a lot of people's money when I'm just going to tell them to put it into a few type of Vanguard funds for the next 30 years. Right? If you're 25 right. years old, sure. 35 years old, you know, put it in there, put it in the 401k, put it in the Roth 401k, preferably when you're that young, and then let us sit and grow. But when you start to become reliant on that money, when you start to need that money, you can't have it take a 30, 35% hit right before you're about to use it. So for us, for me, we only want to charge a fee when we can actually make what we consider to be a really positive impact. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're going to talk about your position uh, once you hit that financial red zone. So, you know, make your way down to the end zone. The whole show, by the way, is about football. So you're going to be tired. You'll you'll love it or be tired of it by the end of the show. (laughs) Get excited. So first of all, like I I played uh, football in high school. I played a very little bit in college. I realized that while I may have been big enough, I was not fast enough to really compete (laughs) with the people that could play. So I like football, but, you know, I want to make it. I, I, I don't want people to just roll their eyes every time we make an analogy. Right. With that said, you know, the big thing that we need to focus on is diversification. Sure. Like I said before, you got a 25, a 35 year old, you have your money in the S&P 500, you have mid caps and small cap stocks, internationals, all things that are pretty aggressive. And as you get closer to retirement, we need to diversify away from that type of aggressive mindset. We need to start working on a paycheck. Mm-hmm. How am I going to get my paycheck when I am no longer working? How do I generate that income from the money that I've saved? And how do I do it the right way so that a recession or taxes or anything else isn't going to eat up all that money that I've saved? Yeah, all about diversification. We talked that about that in uh, many shows. I want to remind everybody, the show is How to Retire with Ben Fuchs. I'm Gary Nolan, your consumer advocate. Thank you for spending part of your weekend with us. Great to be here. I want to give you the phone number. Get on Ben's calendar. Get yourself all set up with the How to Retire blueprint. We'll be talking more about that throughout the show, too. 800-380-8985. 800-380-8985. Fuchs Financial folks are standing by, ready for your phone call. Get on the calendar. Get yourself all set up with that comprehensive plan. No cost or no obligation. All right. So we talked about offense. We're going to play defense now. How do you play defense into this process? So we talked about that. We talked about recessions. We talked about taxes. So one of the things that we have to do is be aware of what can happen, what happened in the past, and look forward and say, what do we reasonably expect to happen in the future? I've met with a lot of people who are very, very optimistic and think the market is just going to continue to go up. And that's wonderful. And if that's the case, then, hey, look, you don't need a financial advisor. Just put your money in those funds that I talked about earlier and go about your day. But if you look at some of the history and you realize that about half the time, I think it might have been might have been last year, might have been the year before when I went back and I looked about 72 years and 36 out of those previous 72 years, we had at one point a double digit dip in the S&P 500. So it went down by more than 10 percent. And so if we look at that and we say, well, this can happen like every other year. And then we see how often we have those recessions, right? Anywhere from every seven years, nine years, we had a bigger gap between 2008 and present. But we also had a bigger drop in 2008. So that could be part of it. But when we look at that and we see the history kind of being pretty consistent there, not predictable, but consistent, we know that we need to play solid defense to make sure that we don't run out of money in retirement or, you know, that we're using our money the right way. Right. You know, Ben, and it's, it's we talk about timing in the past, too. Like if you want to retire in 2000 or 2008, it was not exactly the best time, of course, during that pandemic as well. How do you insulate your clients from those downward trends that that happen periodically, like you just mentioned? Well, there, there has to be a balance, right? So much of your money is in the stock market and people are like, oh, well, I'll just buy more bonds. And if you have one of those target retirement date funds and you should all be nodding your head, because if you looked at your 403Bs, your 457s or your 401k, target retirement date funds are like half of the options available to you. And what they do is that as you get older, they sell more stocks and they buy more bonds. And I had a client recently that said, hey, why isn't this a good option? Again, Gary, what am I going to say? Great question. Thank you for asking. (laughs) Yeah. So the idea is that even though they may be considered safer, bonds aren't safe. Right. They took took a big hit not too long ago, right? Yeah. Yeah. 2022, they took a big hit. And so people say, oh, well, that's a one time thing. Maybe. But anytime rents go up. Bonds are going down, right? You already have a bond. Nobody wants that old bond when they can get a better rate going forward. So the value of it has decreased. And if we're looking at what we can gain, what's the best possible scenario for for these bonds? If the interest rates remain more or less flat or they go down, one, they're not paying that great of a return anyway. So if we talk about strategies that you can use to be safe, it's diversifying away from some of these traditional pieces. Mm -hmm. The show is How to Retire with Ben Fuchs. I'm Gary Nolan, your consumer advocate. want to thank you for joining us, spending part of your weekend with us. You need that How to Retire blueprint because that's where it all starts, by picking up the phone and punching those numbers in 800-380-8985, 800-380-8985. We're trying to show you that you need that written plan, you need that comprehensive plan because what you're really looking for in retirement is peace of mind. And that's what Ben and his team, I, I mean, 
mean, so many stories that Ben has told me that, you know, had a client come in and showed them exactly what they can do and where they are and where they need to be. And, you know, you get that, whoo, <laughs> that, that relief, a sigh of relief that they know they're going to be in good hands and they're, they're going to be uh, well taken care of. So let's continue the conversation here. So we got our offense and defense built. Uh, what do we focus on next, Ben? So in this scenario, if we're taking it, you know, the NFL analogy, we need to perfect our playbook. And one of the things that we'll look at is that any, you know, anytime you're a coach of a team, your players are going to play differently based on who they're against, right? What are the strategies? What are we trying to attack on offense? What are we trying to attack on defense? Well, it's the same thing with me if I'm the coach, but I'm not playing against you. I'm playing with you. What are your goals, right? What are we, are you worried that the market's going to crash? Is the majority of your money in CDs in the money market right now? All right, great. Let's work with that. But we have to be different than somebody that has all their money in Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. We have two different levels of risk, two different goals. I've got people that have all their money in real estate. So they want real estate like investments where they can generate income, maintain their principal. They don't want to see that drawing down. So depending on who's in front of us, we need to tailor our plan to what's going to work best with them, what they're going to be most comfortable with. And also, of course, what's going to keep them happy throughout their retirement and accomplish the goals that they want to accomplish. If that's mm -hmm. leaving money behind to the next generation, if that's paying as little as they can in taxes, if that's generating a steady income, if that's not drawing down their assets, but spending just based on what we're able to generate from interest. Great. But we need to apply those principles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's talk about the written plan. A couple of minutes we have left and the sure. biggest takeaway from uh, this, this segment, uh, Ben. So, so, I mean, we have a how to retire blueprint and that's just a thing that we name because we have a lot of different pieces of software that we run for you when you come in for a free consultation. So one of the first things that people want to know is, you know, how much do I need? I'm generating social security. I may have a small pension. I might not. What do I need my investments to generate for me so that I can maintain my assets and spend what I want? So that's the first thing that we figure out. We figure out what type of rate of return we need to get there. And then we talk about how comfortable that is. And then we'll do some backdating, right? How much risk are you actually taking right now? What kind of fees are you paying in your, appointment, in your current advisor? Maybe you just need a second opinion on where you are because your other advisor is more focused on growth, 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 and saying, hey, you'll be fine, don't worry about it, versus I need an actual plan. Where can I generate my money? Tell me how I can do that. And so our job is to take that next step. Again, we don't work with people that are just trying to grow, grow, grow. That's wonderful. But our goal is to create a retirement plan. We need safety. We need income. And we need future growth. But we need to have it done in the right way. And we need to make sure that that protects you. So the best way for us to have you do that is to pick up the phone, meet with a member of our team, and see what we can do to help put you in the best position for retirement. All right. Great advice, Ben. Let's get you that phone number that Ben was just talking about. Pick up the phone and dial it number 800-380-8985. Your chance to benefit from the How to Retire Blueprint. Call right now. We still have a limited number of availabilities on our calendar this week. And remember, the consultation is offered at no cost or no obligation. So what are you waiting for? Now is the time to act. We know you listen to the show each week. We certainly appreciate that. But if you haven't picked up the phone and dial that number yet, do it right now. 800-380-8985. Get yourself all set up with the How to Retire Blueprint. No cost or no obligation. The show is How to Retire with Ben Fuchs. And we'll take a quick break. Be back in just a moment. What's up next, sir? The big game of retirement is undoubtedly the biggest game of your life. Coming up, we have quotes from a few football legends and are exploring how they relate to the retirement planning game. He's letting the clock run out on his Social Security to age 70 for maximum benefits. And here comes the Roth conversion. He's locked in for income for life. He's got some outstanding coaching with that annuity plan. He's created his own pension as well. And it looks like he's going to go all the way. Play your best retirement game. Call Ben Fuchs at Fuchs Financial, 800-380-8985, 800-380-8985. Welcome back to the show. This is How to Retire with Ben Fuchs. I'm your consumer advocate, Gary Nolan. And back with us to help me take charge of your money is Ben Fuchs. Ben is a certified financial planner, certified private wealth advisor, professional, and fiduciary with over 20 years experience in the business. Of course, he's with Fuchs Financial. I want to thank you for joining us, spending time with us. Now, we talked a little bit earlier about the How to Retire blueprint and how important it is. So 
Uh, in case you uh, missed it, I want to give you that phone number right now. Uh, get on Ben's calendar. Get yourself all set up with that uh, plan. With uh, Just uh, punch these numbers in. 800-380-8985. 800-380-8985. It's the How to Retire Blueprint. Do it now, folks at Fuchs Financial are standing by. All right, so let's talk about the sports world being filled with famous quotes. Oftentimes, these quotes relate to more of our lives than they do in sports. Now, how famous quotes from football legends relate to retirement planning. But I love that. And I, I'll tell you why I like that so much, because I don't know about you. My father, when he was teaching me how to play basketball, tennis, you know, you name it. Sure. He's like, you don't think about winning the game. You think about the next point. You focus yes. on the next goal goal on the right. next subjective. Retirement planning is the same way. We need to focus on the next. So yeah, it's nice to think about our retirement, right? It's nice to think about whatever it is, traveling to the Galapagos or taking the whole family to Disney or whatever those big retirement goals are. But in order for us to get there, we need to focus on the next step, the next thing that we need to make sure we've accomplished, the next check mark on our bullet sure. list. Yeah, and you need a strategy and you need a plan. We'll spend right. time talking about that in this particular segment here. Okay, so I love these quotes. And if you're a football fan, these are very famous quotes. You've probably uh, heard of some of these. The only place success comes before work is where? In the it, it, dictionary, right? Mm. Vince Lombardi. What a great quote. I mean, who, Lombardi, does he know anything about football, that, that fellow? What are they? I think so, yeah. Okay, got it. <laughs> he seems like, you know, yeah, of course, Vince Lombardi. So this is key. I mean, you know, again, these quotes that apply to football obviously apply to the rest of our life. And that's why these quotes are famous and universal. We don't get anything unless we've worked for it. And that's why you see that people that retire with millions of dollars keep their money. And that's why you see people that have won the lottery often end up broke in a number of years because they got money without putting in the work to get it. It's a different mindset. And so yeah, we need to yeah. make sure that we're putting. And that's why also nice little tidbit is that most inheritance are spent nine months after they have been received. Really? Yeah. So there is one yeah. of the. So when I was doing the, the CPWA, the Certified Private Wealth Advisor Professional, that designation, one of the things that they talked a lot about was wealth transfer from uh, one to the next generation to the third. And so that is specifically for people that have over $5 million. And of course, you don't have to have over $5 million to become a client of ours at Fuchs Financial. Sure. But they were talking about bigger sums of money. And so when they looked at it, they said, you know, the majority of, they'd say, 70 71% of that money that's inherited, when over $5 million, 71% of it is spent by the second generation, and over 90% of it is gone by the third. Mm -hmm. And so the concept is that if we want to make our money last in a meaningful way, then you have to put in some work. You have to set up certain kinds of trusts. You have to have different conversations with people. You have to have people understand the benefit and the value of growing money. Of course, as a parent, I'm exposed to certain reels on TikToks and uh, <laughs> TikTok, yeah, of course, right, you know, don't find me there yet. I, they're, they're trying to get me on. But who wants to see that anyway? I'm moving right along. <laughs> one of the things that they said, and I don't know if this is real or not, but it struck a chord was that one of the biggest determinants of success in an individual was whether or not they had chores at three and four years old. Mm -hmm. And so it was the idea of having a working mindset that got them into that successful nature. Now, unfortunately, my kids, two of my kids are older than that. So I guess it's the third one that'll be the saving grace. We have to give her just a ton of chores. I can't wait till she folds my laundry. Yeah, um, yeah I'm waiting for that from my 12-year-old uh, granddaughter and 10-year-old grandson to start doing some more stuff around the house, too. But yeah, it's really, you know, I know it's funny. I did some features, uh, not only hosting shows, Ben, I do some features of financial success and failures. And we, we did one on a lottery uh, winner that completely went broke. I mean, and he won... I mean, a, a big, huge jackpot. I can't remember exactly how much, but he was—he just went crazy, he went nuts, and he bought his granddaughter three cars. And they asked her why. He goes, "Well, she can only drive one at a time." I, I, what kind? Of, <laughs> but he was totally wiped out and went. By the way, he went to jail. That guy too. Oh wow. Well, so, yeah. <laughs> you, you, careful who you you know put up on a pedestal there. But I, that's the whole point, right? You, that's the thing. Success comes before work only in the dictionary. Yeah. Uh, all right. The number is 800-380-8985. Let's give you that number. Get on Ben's calendar. Get yourself all set up with that uh, that plan, that uh, how to retire blueprint that we talk about from time to time. 800-380-8985. Very important. The show is How to Retire with Ben Fuchs. I'm Gary Nolan, your consumer advocate. All right. Let's get to our next quote. Uh, 
this comes from Herm Edwards, who I call, I, I thought he was a jet coach. Is that right? He uh, was Monday, at one point. Uh, at one point, yeah. All right. So here's his quote. You play to win the game. Hello, you play to win the game. You just don't play it. And the great thing about sports is you play to win. I don't care if you don't have any wins. You got to play to win. And when you start telling me it doesn't matter, then retire. Get out because it matters. <laughs> so first of all, Gary, as wonderful of a reader as you are, don't let me take anything away from you. Herm Edwards is such an intense dude that when right. you hear him talk, like you're adrenaline goes up you know oh, he's, yeah 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 i remember he's him yep. yep motivating guy i mean you know i used to see clips of him running on a treadmill like talking to reporters at the same time because he had a certain <laughs> yeah. schedule <laughs> yeah i mean first of all you want me to run on a treadmill and talk to anybody you're just going to get a whole bunch of huffing and puff. it's not going to be me pretty. too same here but i mean absolutely no, no question great quote and I, I i love her i mean not maybe the best coach ever but certainly one of those inspiring right individuals sure yeah. Yeah, no question about it. All right, here's the next one. It's not the will to win that matters. It's the will to prepare to win what matters. Great coach, Alabama coach, right, Bear Bryant, right? Sure. I, I, but again, this is all about preparation. And, and, and that's the key is that, you, you know, most people just say, you know, used to be, I think for a lot of people, I'm going to go work, I'm going to work for 30 years, I'm going to get a pension, and maybe I'll get Social Security also, and I'm going to retire. And they didn't have to prepare. Well, now, if you want to win in retirement, you have to prepare. You have to know where you are. And it's not just enough to have saved a lot of money. That's wonderful. Congratulations. But I see people that have saved a lot of money and also end up with very little because they haven't done the right preparation. And so yeah. there's a reason that these coaches were successful. Yeah. And, and like you talked about back in the day, it was it was real simple. You got the pension. They managed your pension. And, you know, you rode off into the sunset, got the gold watch and, you know, have a really nice retirement. But the thing to keep talking about from time to time, the fact is the matter is that, you know, retirement planning is not a do it yourself situation. And whatever analogy you like, it's too many moving parts, too many puzzle pieces, anything like that. The fact of the matter is that it is totally true. You cannot do this on your own. You need the how to retire blueprint. Ben and his team are standing by ready for your phone call. Eight. 800-380-8985. All right, a couple of more quotes we can get to. Uh, this one comes from uh, J.J. Watt, a great defensive player, correct? Defense. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah Multiple right. time uh, yep. the defensive MVP. Sure. Yep, okay. Do the mayor bare minimum, expect minimum results, which is, uh, that's that's how I live by, man. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. <laughs> uh, of course not, Gary. I, I, I wouldn't allow somebody to do the bare minimum to work with not. me. And exactly. you wouldn't allow me to do the bare minimum to work with you. So I appreciate that. No, Cara. sir. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you. Yeah, I mean, as somebody that clearly put in the work, that clearly got some, the whole Watt family, first of all, by the way, as an aside, I would like to see the Watt family take on the Bosa family in some kind of skills competition. Ooh, that'd be you know, cool. I think that would be a fun because there's so many great athletes, but you can see that there's a, a methodology. There's a there is a way of working to get success. And it's not that all of these guys are better athletes than everybody else. Maybe part of the time that's true, but it's the way that they prepared and their their attention to detail and their ability to work to get there that has gotten them the success that they have. How about a WWE situation there with those guys? That'd be fun. I mean, huh? that is where I'm leading. I would love to see the cage match, but I don't let me be a proponent of violence. I'm, I'm going to stay away from no, that. No, no, you know, and it's all scripted anyway, Ben. You know. Of course it is. Of course it is. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> I've heard people say the NFL is the same thing, yeah. but we're going to stay away from that. I don't want to get sued. Yeah, Ben and I were talking about that off air, so to speak, that I have a friend of mine who, uh, well, never mind, gets in the, loves conspiracy yep. theories. No, we're yep. not going Tinfo there. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Lots of them. We love this. Tinfoil hat? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so let, let's do the next one and then we can we can move on I, I like this next one from adrian peterson all right when you don't give up you cannot fail yeah so i mean how many times have you seen the the thomas edison sign right i i, I believe it was him right tried nine thousand. if he had stopped on his nine thousand nine hundred ninety eighth time he wouldn't have the light bulb Ten thousand failures to get to that success and you know unfortunately in our scenario you apply this to well, you apply it to how I talk to my kids. That's one thing, right? But you apply this to retirement planning. It's like, well, in this scenario, we, we got to keep on working in certain scenarios, right? We, we, we don't want to have to give up. We don't want to have to sacrifice our lifestyle. But in this, if you're taking this kind of application, then it's saying, you know, we need to continue to work to get to where we need to be. And if we don't give up, if we don't give in, if we don't let apathy take hold, then we're still going to get somewhere. And for us, our goal is very straightforward. We are not going to give up on our clients. 
We are going to make sure that they're in the right place and that they're doing the right thing. And ultimately, we want to take the stress of managing off of their shoulders. The whole goal for us is to kind of alleviate that burden of wondering how they're going to get their next paycheck, of making sure that you know a recession doesn't take away their money, of making sure they're not paying too much in taxes or paying as little in taxes as they could possibly be, of making all the right decisions as you approach retirement. A lot of people think that money management is just picking the right mutual fund. And maybe for some advisors, that's the case. But we have a team of people that only work with people who are at or approaching retirement. And so there's so many things that go into creating a how to retire blueprint. So that that's all we do. And all we focus on is creating the right type of plan for you. So if you feel like, hey, I don't know where I am, give us a call. If you feel like I'm confused by every sports analogy you have, but I need to focus <laughs> on my retirement, give us a call. If you've been working with somebody and you just need a second opinion, Give us a call. We'll happily give it. If you have an advisor that doesn't answer your questions and tells you to talk to a CPA every time he buys or sells something, give us a call. Let's figure out what we can do to help put you in the best position for retirement. Yeah, great advice, uh, Ben. Let's do it now. 800-380-8985. Your chance to benefit from the How to Retire Blueprint. Still have a limited number of availabilities on our calendar this week. And remember, the consultation is offered at no cost or no obligation. Here's that number. 800-380-8985. Folks at Fuchs Financial are standing by ready for your phone call. You deserve a more confident plan for retire. You want to be stress-free. You really want that peace of mind. 800-380-8985. Do it now. It's the How to Retire Blueprint. We're going to take a quick break. Be back with more of Ben and How to Retire in just a moment. What's up next? When we come back, how you can secure the lead, win the game, and retire like a champion in four easy steps. We believe in better. A better way to invest. A better way to serve you and a better result. We can help you determine how much risk you're taking, red flags that could be potential problems for you, how much you are paying in fees or commissions, potential tax liability, or even how to address Social Security. Call Ben Fuchs at Fuchs Financial, proudly serving all of Connecticut. Call today, 800-380-8985. 800-380-8985. Hi there. Welcome back to the show. Yeah, we're going to talk more football. Yay. Ready for Just what everybody football. wanted. That's why I tuned into How to Retire with Fuchs Financial. Give me football. Give me so. football. But these are great. But seriously, we hope this is helping. These are great analogies. And uh, we know, uh, you know, this time of year, this, I mean, there's always a lot of football fans. The NFL is huge. We talk about billion dollar industry, billions and billions of dollars. So a lot of folks watch. So we thought we'd uh, turn that into a show today. So the show is How to Retire with Ben Fuchs. I'm Gary Nolan, your consumer advocate. Here's that phone number, 800-380-8985. Sometimes in the fourth quarter, get this, we're going to give you a little analogy here. What's going on? You ready? Okay, so team's got a shaky lead. So what happens? They don't want to pass the ball. They don't want to risk interception. So they might attempt to run the ball. So they get the best guys. They're running backs who handle the ball. They grind it out first downs, hoping to run out the clock. Now, after the huddle, uh, they get into that formation at the line of scrimmage. They snap the ball. And these moments make for exciting play calls. Now, when you're talking retirement, you likely won't have to leave. You don't want to leave much up to chance. You want to close the gap, secure the lead, and take the victory. Yay! <laughs> Yay! We have some Just tips. for those who can't see Gary at home, and that would be all of you, yes. he does have pom-poms on right now. So I he's, do. He's, exactly. I'm waving the pom-poms. Waving. I'm pretty darn happy about that. All right, so we got a bunch of tips for you. we got like four tips, and uh, hopefully we'll get to all of them. All right. Are there any gaps you need to cover, Ben? Now, you're going to get mad at me for saying the same thing over and over again here, Gary, but generating sustainable, reliable, and consistent income for life to work in conjunction with those supplemental funds, it's a key concern for many pre-retirees. So the question to ask, how much risk are you comfortable with? How much risk are you willing to take at this point in the game and at this phase in your life? And we help Mm -hmm. you figure that out when you come in for an appointment and we do a free consultation for that reason because we can help you plan for that. And then we can give you a number of different options. I think so many people at home think income. Okay. An annuity. Great. No, no, you don't want necessarily (laughs) all of your income from an annuity. We need to plan these things out. And while annuities can be really beneficial for the people that want to use them, they also are really, really bad for the people if used in the wrong way. And so for us, we want to make sure that we're not filling, I would say, a gap in your retirement with the wrong type of investment. 
Yeah, you know, we talk about risk, you know, and we talk about the rule of 100. And I'm, I know you're not big on the rules of thumb. We've, we've talked about that in the past. So, I mean, basically, if you guys don't know, listeners, what that is, let's say you're 70 years old and you subtract 100 of 70 from 100, you get 30. That means you need 30% risk in your uh, portfolio. But you have much more sophisticated ways to determine what risk people uh, take. I mean, it, there's a whole uh, program for that. Am I right, Ben? Yeah, there's a whole program for that. And even from that program, I tend to deviate because, you know, the important thing is having conversations with your clients. I think there's certain things that multiple choice questions on a computer can't really determine. Right. And there's a human element. And when you look at somebody and you see how their hands fidget and see how their pulse quickens and you sometimes see the sweat beating off their forehead <laughs> when they think about a market crash, then you have to take a different stance and you have to anticipate what their goals are. But be able to provide solutions that are going to do what they want. Ultimately, you know, it's their car. We're just driving, right? It, right. It's your, we need to make sure that we're doing the things that you want us to do, and it's your money. I've heard people say that they're afraid to ask for money from their advisor, and I'm thinking, why? It's yours. <laughs> it's, like, it's like going to mom and dad. Can I have my allowance now? <laughs> yeah, from my paycheck. No, you take your money, whatever you want to, and I'll figure out where, where to come from, and we'll figure out how to make it, you know, be less in taxes. But... The ultimate idea is that we need to take care of you. Yeah. You know, it's funny because uh, we've talked about, too, you know, Ben and I have talked the fact that uh, folks come in the office and they're really risk averse. And then you you take a look at their portfolio from another advisor and you see how much risk is in that. And they go, oh, I thought it was I thought it was pretty risk averse. I thought it was pretty covered went pretty well. But no, you get that a lot, I bet. huh? We get that a lot. We get all kinds of things. So one of the things that I saw recently was I had somebody who was really, really risk averse, and she had like five different money markets. And I think the advisor was just trying to pretend like they were doing something different with all the account. Meanwhile, you know, money markets have different rate of return. Just pick the money market that's giving you the highest rate. That'll be in the best interest of the client if that's the goal. But ultimately, in her scenario, we need to talk about the little bit of risk that she was comfortable taking and kind of extracting that from all the safe stuff, right? We need to have a different frame of mind for some of that. And that's one of the ways that we're really Really able to help her was understand, okay, great, we don't want to lose money, but there are certain things that we can do to get a better rate of return. Maybe we take a longer time frame on some of this money. Maybe we do put a piece of that in the market for inflation five, 10 years down the road. Mm -hmm. Well, let's talk about inflation right now. And of course, it's, you know, being the football analogy, we're not just going to talk about inflation, Ben. We're going to tackle inflation. <laughs> Head on, head, head on. on. Wouldn't have it any other way. Exactly. Right? Go ahead. Yeah, I am the Dick Buckus of inflation. All right. So <laughs> I love that. <laughs> uh, inflation planning, big deal. When you're putting together a solid retirement plan, so between 2022 and 2023, we have explored exactly how inflation can erode our purchasing power. And depending on where you are in the process, you could certainly be more susceptible to seeing this problem play out, feeling like you have no choice but to grin and bear it. This is not the case. Because assuming everything will cost the same the older you get is something that's pretty unavoidable no matter how you look at it. If you plan to retire in your 60s, you might spend 30, 40 years in retirement. A plan to help maximize growth, built-in protection, and lifetime income can be established during the pre-retirement years in order to offset this inflationary risk plaguing so many one-size-fits-all retirement plans. All right. Absolutely. Got to tackle that inflation head on, because even if you bury your money in the backyard, you're still you're still behind. Am I right? Yeah. Well, actually, that's that's the negative, because then you're not getting any growth at right. all. Even, you know, those old bank accounts getting 001 percent are slightly better than that. But yeah, I'll, right. let me stay out of it. <sighs> yeah. Well, some people, you know, I can't we can't account for everybody for everybody's uh, taste. Uh, the show is How to Retire with Ben Fuchs. I'm Gary Nolan, your consumer advocate. Thank you for joining us, spending part of your weekend with us. Folks at Fuchs Financial standing by. Uh, they're ready for your phone call, 800-380-8985. I want you to get the How to Retire Blueprint. It's uh, vitally important to success of your financial uh, needs and retirement. That's what I'm trying to get at. 800-380-8985, the How to Retire Blueprint. Do it right now. It's a comprehensive plan. There's no cost or no obligation. So we talked about covering those gaps. We talked about tackling inflation head on. Have a backup plan just in case you need the backup plan. So if we're sticking with football here, I mean, Gary, maybe you know this. Are there any NFL teams that you're aware of that do not have a backup quarterback? Uh, no, no. Now, some have some very bad backup quarterbacks, but still, to be a fair, backup quarterback. <laughs> right. And if you're the 49ers, was it last year in the playoffs? I think they went through like five quarterbacks. Yeah, they and did. even yeah. had a wide receiver in there at one point. That's right, yeah. So 
you know, the whole point is that we know the market isn't going to go up forever, which it's not. It hasn't historically. We talked about it earlier. We're going to talk about it again. We understand that we have to plan for risk. And even if we're not worried about running out of money, because the reality is a lot of my clients aren't really worried about running out of money. They're worried about creating the right plan for themselves. And if we're talking about the right plan, then we need income that's going to pay you out even if market goes down a little bit, right? Market goes down 10, 15 percent. We need to have a backup plan to generate that income. And if the market goes down by 40 or 50 percent, like it did in 2008, we need to really have a backup plan. We still need money. Market goes down. You're retired. We still need to generate income and we don't want to spend all of our savings. That's when my clients start to get anxiety. So having a backup plan, doing it the right way, having a plan in place before you retire, that's how you get success. Yeah, and we talked about the fact that just because you're retired and you don't have a regular paycheck coming in doesn't mean you don't need growth anymore, Ben. You still need some growth in that portfolio, which obviously assumes a little bit of risk, right? But no question about it, but we can sustain that risk by making sure that we're not reliant on that growth piece, right? So again, you can have growth. We just need to know where and how we're taking it. That's the importance of having a plan or a game plan. Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess they're looking at a quote here from uh, uh, from Tara Loans. Remember Tara Loans? He goes, that's my quarterback, a famous wide receiver for the Dallas Cowboys said in his words 2008, talking about Darrell Loans, the fact of the matter is that the offensive line is there to protect him and defend their quarterback. You know, you don't want to get to the backup quarterback, am I right? <laughs> you don't want to, but that doesn't mean it doesn't happen, right? Yeah, that's we, exactly we, right. <laughs> we, can, we can prepare all we want. Sometimes you're still going to give up a sack or two. So yeah. <laughs> we have protections in place, but we also have to have fail safes, right? You yeah. also have... Yeah. I, a lot of people have been great at walking the line. You know, again, if I'm walking uh, a tightrope, I'm on a ropes course, right? Yep. If I'm on a ropes course, I've got that carabiner hooked into my it's my belt loop, you know, onto a steel wire so that if I fall off, that's going to catch me. But if that should fall, maybe I got a net underneath me as well. And in right. retirement, we need some fail safes. Yeah, absolutely. I think of a, a quarterbacks getting hurt. A famous uh, Jim Theismann, uh, years and years ago, uh, when he uh, played for uh, Washington, taken down by Lawrence Taylor, a very famous uh, uh, injury there. And Alex Smith, not too many years ago, looks like, he, boy, he almost passed away on that uh, hit. hit oh, yeah, he had yeah. a tough, tough yeah, leg injury. Yeah. Thank you for joining us. Let's talk sports with Ben. <laughs> <laughs> the so, show. <laughs> yeah, so it's how to retire. But what, the, the last point, I think the last bullet point that we have here is Finding the right coach. Yes, sir. You know, and I think that is a, a key for us because, you know, so, you know, the number four piece, and I'm, I don't know if this is going to surprise you here, but for my clients, our clients, we are the coach. You know, Fuchs Financial is the coach for our clients. We are the ones preparing the game plan. We want to put it in place. You're the ones that have to do all the hard work. You're the ones that have saved your money your whole life. You're the ones that have been putting your money in your 401k, deferring taxes, putting in the Ross, putting your money in the places where hopefully it's done the right things. But we're the ones to help you win the game. We're the ones to get you across the finish line, to get you comfortable, to make sure that everything is working in the right way and the way that it should to minimize taxes, taking Social Security at the right time, minimizing fees in your account, minimizing risk where appropriate, and make sure that we are taking some risk where it is needed. We are fiduciaries, which means that it's our goal and our responsibility to do what's in your best interest, not in ours. And some people take that as lip service. Some people don't. I can tell you when we've hired our different advisors, every advisor has a different designation behind their name than I do. That's really important because we want to have a different levels of expertise when we get together to talk about our clients or have a very unique situation, which a lot of people do have a lot of unique situations. We want to be able to, be able to provide a wealth of experience and planning behind each one of those problems so that we're not missing anything for our class. So if we can make sure that we're doing the right thing, that we're putting you in the right position, that's how we can create a how to retire blueprint for each individual person. Yeah. You know, Ben, it's it's about trust, too. It's interesting. And, you know, if you ever watch, uh, if you watch the Chiefs, you see Andy Reid when he has conversations with Patrick Mahomes, what you're seeing is total trust. He, they have total trust in each other. And that's how you win. And we are here to tell you that it is time to pick up that phone and dial that number. 800-380-8985. 800-380-8985. Get the How to Retire Blueprint. Folks at Fuchs Financial are standing by, ready for your phone call. You really deserve peace of mind. You want to be stress-free. You deserve a more confident plan to retire, but it all starts by pick up the phone, 800-380-8985, the How to Retire Blueprint. I'm Gary Nolan, your consumer advocate. With me is Ben Fuchs with us each week at this time. The show is How to Retire. We are going to take a short break. Be back right away. What's up next? 
Listeners have questions and we've got answers. That and more coming up next. Do you ever feel like you're fighting for financial knowledge? Don't let bad advice be a punch in the gut to your retirement. Take advantage of a complimentary, no cost, no obligation consultation with a local trusted financial coach. Call Ben Fuchs and the team at Fuchs Financial, 800-380-8985. That's 800-380-8985. Welcome back to the show. I'm Gary Nolan, your consumer advocate. We're talking more football now. It's done. We're, our football <laughs> talk is done. Uh, lots of folks are actually relieved. And some are, you know, some really, I hope you, seriously, I hope you really enjoyed it. I thought it was some great analogies there, you know, you know, Ben? You're really welcome. Did. You're welcome, by yeah. the way, for those yeah. fabulous. And I think those are all, I mean, no, no, it was, it was fun. I think yeah, it was, it was, uh, was yeah. it's nice to do something different. Absolutely. All right. The show is How to Retire with Ben Fuchs. I'm Gary Nolan, your consumer advocate. Ben is back with us to help take charge of your money. He has over 20 years experience in the retirement planning business. Ben is a certified financial planner certified private wealth advisor, professional, and fiduciary. Again, over 20 years experience in the business. And those distinctions are very important when you're looking for a financial advisor, because by law, they have to have the best interest of their clients. And that's what Ben does when he meets with you guys all the time. The show is How to Retire, and I want you to get the How to Retire Blueprint. See how that works? 800-380-8985. 800-380-8985. It, and nicely done, Ben. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, that was all you, Gary. I, I, I'll okay. take it. <laughs> okay. Uh, Nance in Naugat. I used to work in Nogatuck many years ago. All right. I'm one of the few with a pension, but I'm worried about not keeping pace with inflation. What can I do? Nance, Nogatuck. Yeah, and yes, that's you're right. I mean, the bottom line is that if you have a pension that is not going to have a COLA, a cost of living adjustment, C-O-L-A, then it will not likely keep pace with inflation. And even if it does, a lot of those COLAs are not keeping pace because they're usually like around 2%. So we've obviously seen more inflation than that. So this is why taking ownership of your retirement, having a plan, getting prepared to retire is extremely important. So one, great that you have a pension, but again, just like Social Security, it's something that you can use that will help you, but is not going to be the only source of your income in retirement, especially as time goes on. So we need to prepare with our other investments. Continue to contribute to that 401k or 457 or 403b, whatever you have, thrift savings plan, they're you know, all out there. Continue to contribute to those. And also make sure that when we come in and you meet with us or you meet with another advisor, you understand where your income is going to come from. You know, how much do you want to spend now in retirement? And use, most of the time, it is more than you're presently spending because people want to take advantage of the fact that they've been working their whole lives and they just want to do a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So let's figure out what you want to spend, not need, but want to spend. Figure out how much of that your pension is going to cover. And then figure out over a long haul, over the next 30, 40 years, what that gap is going to be and how we plan for it. Mm -hmm. And so that's what we can do to make sure that you don't have to worry about that anymore once you've retired. Right. So let's say out of 10 clients, how many would you say have pensions? Well, we've got a few. So we have some people that have some old pensions from um, from Raytheon, Electric Boat, from sure, yeah, yeah. the state of Connecticut. Yep. Because we have some big companies, but it's tough, man. I, you know, some some weeks I will say like you know six out of ten, and then other weeks it's like really? zero out of ten. So it just depends on you know right. the crowd that comes in and who decides <laughs> to listen to us on the radio and realize how brilliant we both are and saying no, those are the people that we need <laughs> to help us. So it just you know it just depends on their moment of enlightenment. And and are there as many different pensions as there are in you know, whether it's 401ks or IRAs, many different kinds, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, the Teachers Retirement Board, their pension is totally different from the state, from other state workers. From I mean, so, okay. yes, they're all different. You know, each municipality, each town has its own style of pension. They sure. build up in different ways. And so, you know, we're really familiar with teachers. We have a lot of teachers as clients. And so we're very, you know, familiar with how that works. But each town, we have to kind of learn a new pension system, which is wow. easy for us. But it's... It's okay. We get the quotes. We figure out. And the state, by the way, the state of Connecticut, you've got, you used to have tier one, then you've got tier two, two A. Oh. You know, I mean, you have all these different <laughs> tier four. I mean, and they are, everything operates just a little bit differently. Yeah. It's amazing. Ben doesn't have a gray hair. I'm looking at him right now. No, there's no gray hair. Uh, that's, uh, that's because I've covered it in front of you. There's a lot of, I, I just, the shoe polish that I had, it just went yeah, right on top. You. Okay. I see that. The show is How to Retire with Ben Fuchs. I'm Gary Nolan, your consumer advocate. No, really interesting uh, how much knowledge Ben and his team have when they 
prepare that How to Retire Blueprint for you, 800-380-8985. We call it knowledge transfer, too. That's a big part of the plan. It's not just throwing some numbers in front of you, investments, and go, hey, buy this. No, a lot more to it than that. (laughs) 800-380-8985. I I think I nailed it. I think I really did. Of course you did. (laughs) I I wouldn't have it any other way. (laughs) Okay, let's get to Holly in Hartford. Uh, My daughter is in her late 20s, already has a good job with good benefits. Should she look at contributing exclusively to her Roth 401k? What do you say? So, generally speaking, I try not to do too many definites. I try not to say this should always happen because, you know, there are always, but I would say 99.99% of the time, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, okay, well, she's making money and she's in a high tax bracket. Wouldn't she benefit from some of the uh, tax savings of putting it into traditional 401k? Yeah, sure. She would. But if she's in her late 20s and she can't touch that money for at least 30 something years, right, until she's at least 59 and a half or 55 in certain circumstances, but we'll go with traditional rules and say 59 and a half, then it's going to double, should double three separate times. Mm. So let's say that by 29, she's been a really good saver. She's got, well, let's say $200,000 in the 401k. Great job, Holly. Your daughter's doing great. So $200,000, we'll call it at 30 which means that it doubles by the time she's 40. So that 200,000 goes to 400,000. Then to 50, 400,000 to 800,000. And then to 60, 800,000 to 1.6 million. Now you could either pay taxes on that original 200,000 or you could pay taxes on the 1.6 million. I can tell you what I would have rather done. Yeah. Especially when you're that early and you have that much time to compound interest. Unfortunately, I'm no longer in my late 20s, even though, no, nobody nobody thinks I look like that, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> you, you really want to be cognizant. And if there's one thing that we can talk about, I had an intern that worked here. And when he left, he got a really good job, really happy for him. And he was like, oh, yeah, I'm only contributing 3% to my 401k because that's what the match is. And I'm putting all my other money in other places. I'm like, that's the wrong thing. Mm-hmm. So, what? I said, no, don't do that. Don't have a, like, how many times have you heard me have this conversation? And so we readjusted. And instead of putting in 3%, I just said put in 25%. And he almost had a heart attack. Mm-hmm. And I did not care. I said, you might <laughs> hate me for this now, but you will love me for this later. Sure. You will say, thank you, Ben, for doing this, mm-hmm. because if you take care of that first, everything else will fall into place. And right. he will be a multimillionaire by the time he retires, if he can stay on that track. Wait a minute. When you withdraw your money from from a Roth, right? From it's a traditional IRA, you pay tri- tax on it. Okay, but from a from a Roth, you withdraw your money. Uh, doesn't it goes to your to your uh, money income on, on your income tax for that year? Correct? No, no? Not, not to my knowledge. No. Oh, then I guess what did I hear that? Wow, I must have. How about one? How about one a traditional IRA? Oh yeah, absolutely. Traditional IRA, traditional four hundred one k. You would draw that money. count as income. Okay, count as gotcha. income. But okay, the Roth, not, not so much. Okay, got you. Thanks, Ben. I appreciate that. The show is How to Retire with Ben Fuchs. I'm Gary Nolan, a consumer advocate. Let me give you the phone number, 800-380-8985. Get the How to Retire blueprint. Let's get to Frank in Farmington. Uh, Once again, I'm facing a big tax bill this year. I know it's early enough in the year to do something to lessen next year's blow. What are your thoughts, Ben? Oh, Frank, man, look, I love talking about taxes and I love figuring out how I can help you, but I don't know what the big tax bill was a result of. Are you an employee? that just made a lot of money. If that's the case, the reality is there aren't that many things that we can do aside from contributing to your traditional 401k, which as I've talked about earlier, doesn't always make the most sense. If your gains in your taxes are a result of capital gains in your account, right? if you have a lot of mutual funds that you own and you probably didn't sell any of them, you may have some pretty significant taxes as a result of owning those mutual funds. Why? Great question. Thank you for asking. They're a thing that's called phantom gains. What's happening inside of the mutual fund is the manager of that fund are buying and selling stocks, bonds, you name it. And even though you're not buying or selling anything, they are inside of the vehicle that you own and that is causing you to be taxed on them. And because of that, you pay taxes even when you didn't actually realize a gain. In certain instances, adding insult to injury, you pay taxes when you've taken a loss that happened to a lot of people in 2022. They had to pay taxes even though they lost money in the fund. I can tell you that didn't make a lot of people happy. Probably not. <laughs> so I can tell you, Frank, what I would tell anybody. 
I don't know enough without taking a full analysis. One of the reasons that we have you come in typically for two appointments is the first appointment, we're just asking a whole bunch of questions. We need to gather all the information to put into all of our different pieces of software and our different programs to figure out what we can do to minimize your taxes. And then we have conversations. You know, for some people, we can get really advanced. We can set up charitable remainder annuities. We can have you give money to uh, to donor advised funds. You know, we can you know certain charitable donations at certain times make sense. If you're past seventy and a half and you're taking RMDs, we can talk about qualified charitable distributions (QCDs) for those people that really love acronyms. We've got them for you. So there are a host of things that we can look at to reduce your taxes. For a lot of people, it's just not worth it. They don't want to do that. That's not the goal. The goal isn't to give money to charity. The goal is for them to spend their money. Okay, great. Why don't we look ahead to what we can do over the next couple of years to reduce your tax burden over the rest of your life? Yeah, so for us, those are the things that we're looking to do to figure out what we can do to put you in the best position for retirement. And it may not be this year or next year. Maybe it's paying more taxes. Sorry, you're welcome. But the goal and goal is to put you in the position for retirement. So the reason that we do our How to Retire Blueprint is to gather all the information that we can to help our clients in the best way that we know how. Sometimes that's just helping them find the right attorney for their estate planning. Do you need a living trust? Do you need an irrevocable trust? Do you need a special needs trust? Do you need an AB trust? Do you need a charitable remainder unit trust? There are all kinds of different things that we need to create to help our clients be in the best position for retirement. And of course, if that's figuring out when to take Social Security or how to create a paycheck from the investments that you've made and that you have in retirement so that you don't run out of money, great. And if you need to figure out how we can survive a recession and be comfortable, how to give you peace of mind in retirement, that's what we're looking to do. So maybe you just need a second opinion. Maybe you don't need know where to start. Either way, come in for a free consultation. Let's see what we can do to put you in the best position for retirement. All right, Ben, thanks. Great advice. 800-380-8985. Get the How to Retire Blueprint. First step, sit down with Ben and his team. Something we're talking about resonates with you. You feel need to get that second opinion. Want to make sure a plan is really aligned with your goals. A very important risk tolerance we've been talking about on the show today. 800-380-8985. Folks at Fuchs Financial are standing by, ready for your phone call. You need that comprehensive plan. You need that written plan. No cost or no obligation. Get the How to Retire Blueprint. One more time before we wrap up the show. 800 380 800-380-8985. Get the How to Retire Blueprint. Well, the show has flown right on by. I'd like to thank everyone for listening. We hope you found the information we presented helpful. Look forward to all of you being back next week. We'll have new topics and new questions right here on How to Retire with Ben Fuchs. Ben, as always, I enjoyed it. Go out there. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, my friend. The same to you, man. Have a good one, Gary. Investment advisory services are offered through Foundations Investment Advisors, LLC, hereafter known as Foundations, an SEC-registered investment advisor. The content provided is intended for informational and educational purposes only. The views, statements, and opinions expressed herein are those of the individual speakers and not necessarily those of Foundations and its affiliates. The information contained herein does not constitute an offer to sell any securities or represent an express or implied opinion or endorsement of any specific investment, opportunity, offering, or issuer. Any discussion of performance or returns is not indicative of future results. Any discussions of specific strategies are for information informational purposes only and have been provided to help determine whether they may be appropriate for your specific situation. If applicable, the primary goal in converting retirement assets into a Roth IRA is to reduce the future tax liability on the distributions you take in retirement or on the distributions of your beneficiaries. Each individual investor situation is different and ideas provided may not be appropriate for your particular circumstances. Foundations only transacts business in states where it is properly registered or is excluded or exempted from registration requirements. Registration as an investment advisor is not an endorsement of the firm by securities regulators and does not mean the advisor has achieved a specific level of skill or ability. Nothing herein constitutes a recommendation that any security, portfolio of securities, or investment strategy is suitable for any person. No legal or tax advice is provided. Please review your retirement, tax, and legacy planning strategies with a legal or tax professional before transacting or implementing any strategy discussed herein. Any comments regarding safe and secure investments and guaranteed income streams refer only to fixed insurance products. They do not refer in any way to investment advisory products. Rates and guarantees provided by insurance products and annuities are subject to the financial strength of the issuing insurance company, not guaranteed by any bank or the FDIC. This is not endorsed or affiliated with the Social Security Administration, any federal Medicare program, or any U.S. government agency. If applicable, we do not offer every plan available in your area. Any information we provide is limited to those plans we do offer in your area. Please contact Medicare.gov or 1-800-MEDICARE to get information on all of your options. All rights reserved.